We are in the Shaw TV studios this morning, and I'm alongside the man who I once introduced as the uh, as a singer songwriter here on Strip Down, but now I get to introduce him as the host producer of the Timberland Music Show. It's an exciting day. There's a lot of history in this room, sir. You are Strip Down's 75th episode. Yeah, I remember. And that it, well. it it resonated a little bit with you, apparently, <laughs> right? You went off and and you uh, went back to PA and you started up your own show. Take me back to episode 75 and get me caught up today. What's been going on, sir? Well, I guess it, it started, of course, with episode 75 and, and come to the realization that you can make a radio or a television show here in, in Saskatchewan and, and even in Prince Albert. And, uh, of course, as you know, I won the Director's Choice Award for that 75th episode. And uh, as a part and parcel of that, I stopped in at the Shaw Studio in Prince Albert to do my award speech, and, and I met up with Lisa Rism there. And after we had done the, the awards speech and that, we, we got to talking about the possibility of doing something like that, but more in a country and western type of vein, based out of Prince Albert. And uh, one thing kind of led to another, and next thing you know, you've got the Timberline Music Show. <laughs> I feel like we should just stop rolling on the camera. You and I should go get a drink and just, you know, <laughs> drown our sorrows of the constant headaches and uphill battles of putting together a music show and dealing with musicians. But again, you're plugged in, man. You got so many musician friends in the country and uh, Western side of things. And I thank you for that because that's kind of a, a, a demographic we don't get a lot of on Strip Down. So when we get a, a country or Western act that I don't have room for, it's like, hey, I know another show just down the street practically, but how has it been so far since since you started? You know, it, it's been great. Uh, the people that uh, I've called upon, and, and it's, it's sort of been by invitation only, at, at least at this point, I knew the people in the industry that I wanted to bring onto the show. I knew what they could bring to it and what their abilities were and, and the level of profile that it would bring the show to. Um, I guess I, I kind of boast a little bit. We've got everything there from Juno nominees to Saskatchewan Country Music Association winners to people that have developed a very solid reputation of being very good entertainers in their local community and and this was a great opportunity for them to head down the road a little bit and get the exposure and and all in all we've we've created a package there that you know between Lisa and her hard work behind the scenes and, and the camera and the production end and with people that I brought on and, and hosted and interviewed um, it, it's a package that I'm very proud of and I'm, I'm really happy to take to town. You said it is by invitation only right now, but if someone out there is watching this and says, I want to be on that show, what advice do you have for them? You know, pop me an email, and uh, the website, the uh, best way to get a hold of me is like www.larrykrause.ca, and fire me off an email, and uh, we'll definitely take a look and, and see what you got, and uh, see how it would fit into the, what we figure is the big picture for the show, but uh, no, I'd, I'd like to hear from folks. All right, always a pleasure, sir. We should have you back on Strip Down. Maybe I can make an appearance out there. Not that I can play an instrument or anything, but no, it was a good, lot of history in this room. It was a, it was a fun is. episode. Yeah. I was going to bridge into that for my closer that you won the uh, Director's Choice Award from Jay Newfeld. He was blown away by your episode. He's not an easy man to blow away. So thank well, you, you very much that. for stopping by and good luck in the future. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate that. As for me, I want to be outstanding on that shore. Because I found out here in this life there is something more. Do you know where you'll see the Lord today? Do you know where you'll see his glory fade?